Make sure students are standing or sitting up straight. Find the first sound hand position. You may also choose to start in proper playing position, but it is at your discretion. Instruct students to bring the instrument to their mouth. Do not bring the head to the instrument. If the first note lip plate is on the toot, have students close their lips around it gently. Instruct them to gently use a steady stream of air as they exhale. Keep the cheeks in and the head looking forward. Have them try experimenting with less or more air. If they blow too hard, the note will leap up one octave. If students can easily make a sound with the first note lip plate, try transitioning to the standard lip plate. Away from the instrument, have students close their lips naturally and say, poo, poo, with as little movement as possible. Make sure when they finish saying the word that their lips freeze in place. Repeat the above instruction without vocalization, just using air. Demonstrate with a long, steady stream of air and have students echo back. Have students position their hand in front of them and slightly below their mouth. Repeat the previous directions, this time aiming their air onto their wrist. Encourage them to continue to aim their air downwards without moving their head. The lip plate hole of the standard lip plate should be parallel with the floor. Have students bring the toot to their mouths rather than moving toward the instrument. Feel for the edge of the lip plate hole with the bottom lip and place it against where the lip meets the chin. Take a deep breath and use a steady stream of air aimed downwards towards the opposite edge of the lip plate hole. Remember to use poo without vocalizing the word. It is helpful to have students practice in front of a mirror. If students are having trouble making a sound, try adjusting the lip plate on their bottom lip by moving it up and down, in or out, or forward and backward. Another idea is to try varying the amount of air while still keeping the flow of air consistent and steady. Continue to guide students through the steps of creating a good embouchure in following lessons until it becomes natural.